gentlemen, coming to you from deep within the planet Earth, it's Jason and Friends. Join Jason as he welcomes his good friend, Rob Barber. And now with his faithful compadre, Kelsey, here he is, Jason Eric Mumbo. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Jason and Friends, and so glad you're with us. It's been a while, and I'm so glad to have my great friend, Kelsey Zumbrun, here back once again. How you doing, Kelsey? Great. Glad to be back. Yeah, uh, it's been a long summer, a little bit hot summer, a lot of activities going on. You've yep. been keeping busy? Yeah, really busy. We launched a new show since I think oh, yeah. last time we had an episode. So uh, yeah, I've been really busy. Yeah, and the Olympics were on this year. They were a lot mm -hmm. of fun to watch. Yep. I think they, uh, Mary Lou Rutten took home. No, wait a minute. Right. I forget. I get confused uh, on all of that stuff. But it was a it was a great Olympics. It was. You know, I uh, I watched the basketball, of course, because oh, yeah. I like basketball. Not quite the dream team, but it was fun. Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, Michael Phelps, maybe his last hurrah. Yeah. Oh, so cool there is, is he think he might still come back no, one no, more time? No, no, he's saying he's, he's done. done. That's he right. said he won't even go swimming for fun at the beach. Really? He's done with water. He's done. Been he in, hates been it Been in water too much. Just subway commercials. He doesn't drink now. water. He doesn't, right. doesn't nothing splash anymore. in the rain. Nothing. Right. Well, yep. um, you know, you got kids. I do. You got boys. I got boys. Yep, three boys. And uh, I, I got up last weekend, and um, hmm. I saw on the board before I went to bed, my son had written up there that he wanted to rearrange his room. Huh. I'm like, okay, yeah, I used to do that when I was a kid yeah. and everything. Well, I get up. The boys are here clinging out in the living room. I get up at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. I'd right. like to sleep a little bit longer, but hey, what are you going to do? So I open the door, and everything from their room is basically in our living room. <laughs> now, get this. I mean, it's not like they're like furniture movers or anything right, like that. Right. You got a 9-year-old and a 5-year-old, and they're moving a 100-pound. Uh, we got a picture of it here. Yep. You can see. Yep. Uh, toy chest is that like, toy probably chest, pretty heavy. Desk. I mean, these things are like 100 pounds each, and they even move their bunk bed around. And this again, this is eight o'clock in the morning. They've already done all this before the. What is it like the Marines? They do more before eight o'clock in the morning yeah. than you do most <laughs> of the day. But I just thought that was crazy. They ever done anything like that? Your boys? No, yeah. they're they're not that driven. Uh, video games. They're up and trying to play the video games, even though they're not supposed to. But yeah. It's more, I've got the young one, right? So mine's right. two and a half. My youngest is two and a half. And so if you don't put a gate up to the kitchen, you never know what's <laughs> going to happen or what's going to be all over the place. Right. Like a couple boxes of crackers completely dumped out in a pile, right. you know, on the back porch. <laughs> it's so that kind of thing, yeah, it's, as a parent, you never know what you're going to wake Not up Not the toy to. chest out in the... Like, it's that, I just heard a noise that um, doesn't sound good, I better go check. Right. <laughs> Well, this was a segment we used a couple uh, shows back, but it was the website of the night. Remember oh, yeah. the Nelsons back yep. in the eighties? I forget what song they sang, but they more had than the, words. The, more, no, that was extreme. That was extreme. extreme. That was the other yeah, rock uh, guys who sang yeah. a soft song. It's my pop song. <laughs> no, my I have game. The, I have the Nelson CD somewhere. Do you? I do. Love and affection, da, 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 a, something yeah. like that. Well, let's take a look at their website. I'm yeah. sure they're out there, probably playing the state fairs. And, yeah, you know, everything like that, but. Yeah, there they are. Look, oh, they Florida cut their age. hair off. Yeah, no, they're they're hip and cool now and everything. Are they singing Beach Boy song? Uh, probably. Aren't they aren't they uh, related to uh No, that's Ricky Nelson. That's Ricky Nelson. Yeah, that was their dad. So the, oh, yeah, yeah. And you can still get the Nelson t shirts Ooh. and everything. But uh yeah, they're probably they're they're just uh, hanging on there by a thread. I haven't heard anything from them anyway. But hey that, man, if you're touring you're still playing. Yeah. So that's it. That's our website of the night. You can go check it out. That is the NelsonBrothers.com. Wow. I'm, I'm sure you'll yeah, you I'm sure I'm you'll going. browse each page. Yeah. You know a good friend of mine, I work with him over there at Lacy Broadcasting is Bob Nagel. Yeah. And uh, Bob Nagel is a great guy. They do the 46 game of the week. They do the high school sports, the football, the He's basketball. He's a Hall of Famer too, right? He's a Hall of Fame broadcaster. Chuck Freebie isn't yet, but I think we need to start oh, yeah. a campaign to get Freebie. If they only knew he was on our show. Oh, yeah. No, they'd take a look at that. Yeah, and, he'd be right on there. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, I know Bob. He's a great friend, and he taped a little thing for us. Here's the Bob Nagel Joke of the Week. So a friend of mine was in watching the NCAA game the other night. His wife yelled in, do you want dinner? He said, what are my choices? She said, yes or no. Hey, who doesn't love you some Bob Nagel? <laughs> And his, he's, a, he's got a joke for everything. He does. He's uh, full of stories. Right. Yep. All right. Well, I wanted to bring this to your attention this week. You're, you're not dead yet. 
And yeah. someday you probably will. And you can check your pulse and everything. I'm hoping to be a zombie. But how, how would you like to go? Nice and peacefully. And you, you know, sleep kind of thing? Not yeah. like anything dramatic. Nothing yeah. like that. No. You just want to go be quiet and just right. you know, nice and peaceful. Well, we're going to take a look at what 10 bad ways to die. <laughs> Uh, this first one here, death by monkey. Oh, right there. I mean, that that's just horrible. Yep. These are all true. The deputy mayor of Delhi, India, died after falling from his building terrace while trying to fight off attacking monkeys. Well, there you go. I don't know if they were like the flying monkeys from you know Wizard of Oz or yeah. whatever, but I think I could take a monkey. Yeah. You know. Maybe there were a lot of them. Right. I don't know. Here's another one, death by sauna. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could die just by seeing some of the old guys in there sitting in the sauna. But this yeah. guy, Vladimir, he's a competitor from Russia. I don't know what he competes in. Died, oh, this is it. He died in the World Sauna Championship in Finland after he spent six minutes in a sauna that had been heated up to 110 degrees Celsius. Are we on Celsius or is it? We're on Fahrenheit. Okay, so it was 230 degrees. Did you just say World Sauna Championship? Yeah, and he only lasted six minutes. How the heck are you? Yeah. Where are you? He didn't train. No, he did not. That's uh. his own fault. That's his own fault. Death by hay. Hay? Not like, hey, hey, hey. No? No, by like, hey, that the horse is eating. Yeah, yeah. Mike Edwards, 62 years old, a founding member of the rock group Electric Light Orchestra, was killed when a 1,300-pound bale of hay rolled down a hill and landed on his passing van in England. What a way to go. Here he is, a founding member of one of these, you know, the Electric Light Orchestra. Yeah. Great Roll, group. Just having to roll down oh! the hill. <laughs> Hit the gas! I don't know. Here's another one. Death by Segway. I heard about this one. He, he Jimmy. was rock and roll. Rock and roll? Sorry. Yeah, he was rolling, yeah. Uh -huh. But this next one, Death by Segway. You know what the Segway is. That's, yeah, yeah. The two-wheel thing, yeah. Yeah. Yep. The owner died using his own product. Right. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. He was uh, killed when he accidentally drove off a cliff on a Segway in his estate and drowned in the river. Whoops. Yeah. There's a cliff yeah. at his estate, so he probably <laughs> knew it was there. Yeah. So, okay. I don't know about it. Death by Mountain Goat. Robert Boardman, 63, was gored to death by a mountain goat while he was eating lunch at Olympic National Park. Poor guy, here he is just eating his lunch and all of a sudden he gets surrounded by this mountain goat and gets gored to death. Man, I've seen those nature videos. Those, those things are mean. Yeah. I can see that happening. I would have just thrown my food at him. Yeah. And then ran. Up. Give it up. Yeah. Here's this one. It's been a good lunch. Death by cockfight. Now, don't say it. I... You know. I saw that in a movie once. Yeah. Here is Jose Luis. Ochoa, right, that's my accent, it's coming. he's 35 years old, died after being stabbed in the leg at a cockfight by one of the birds that had a knife attached to its limb. I don't know if it was a switchblade. Which limb? I don't know, on the beak or something. <laughs> he must have like been heckling really bad for that cock to turn on him. Maybe he was a rat. I don't even know if we can say that word. They're gonna, I'm going to have to bleep myself. Here's one, death by a bucket of water. How do you, how do you, can you envision this one? Was the guy who dove in off of a thing? Uh, Arthur Sexton, 80, drowned after falling off a stepladder and landed upside down in a bucket containing only a couple feet of water. But he was 80, so I kind of understand that he was a little bit up there, but I would just start drinking. Well, and you know, if he had fallen, he, he might have been unconscious. Right. Oh, that's true, he had just went in there. Um, you ever heard of the clanking? People do the planking photos where they'll lay down on something flat. Okay. Well, this killed a guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Acton Beale, 20 years old, died after falling from a balcony in Brisbane, Australia. He is the only person known to have died while participating in the fad known as planking. Huh. Yeah. I don't know if there was any monkeys involved because it was on another balcony and fell Reminds off. Reminds me of the light as a feather, stiff as a board. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> yeah. Two more. Death by recycling bin. Uh, Sheila D. Coaster, if I can get that right, 62 years old, died from asphyxiation after falling headfirst into a recycling bin at her home in Ohio. And then finally, death by a flying bear. And who wouldn't want to be? I'd See, that's how I'd want to go. If you're going to go, why not go with the death by a flying bear? Yeah. At 25 years old, uh, a woman from Ottawa, Ontario, died after an airborne American black bear smashed through the windshield of her SUV near Luxville, or Luskville, I wouldn't be lucky there, Quebec, the bear had been hit by another vehicle, launching it into the oncoming lane where it landed on her SUV. Oh. That's not the way you, uh, that's not what you had in mind. I'll <laughs> add one that I heard about the other day. Yeah? Oh, there's a new fad where after you have your wedding, to do something that completely destroys your wedding dress in it, like really? you go mudding or whatever. And so this lady, and photograph it while it happens, the lady decided to 
weighed out into the river based on the photographer's thing, and it got so soaked and it drug her it off. I think I did hear about yeah, that one. So very sad, but another yeah. terrible way to go. Well, mine were funny. That one was just sad. Yeah, bro, Gee, bro. now you brought me down. Brought it all down. But, you know, you do see a lot of death scenes in movies. We do. And yeah. I think we have the best one here tonight. We're bringing back the old segment. It's the web clip of the week. This is the Beth best death scene you've ever seen. Check it out. Or Beth death. Beth death Beth. Death. Beth dead. Sound recording! you enjoyed that web clip of the week i think that guy was you know i think he was faking just a little bit but i just turned 40 so i i feel like you know i'm getting close to death and my guest tonight my great friend rob barber is back he just turned 42 rob how you doing i turned 40 also also two not well, 42 two with two. Oh, oh, right not but 42. just not to confuse any of the listeners it's 40 yeah also we are the same age right viewers, <laughs> <laughs> viewers. okay the the one viewer Viewer, yeah. We'll, we'll see how many get on this count. Yeah. Well, I wanted to bring this up since we were both born in 1972. We're at a milestone this year. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to look back at some things that happened. My aunt sent this to me. This is like, remember when? And it had a bunch of cool facts in here uh, about turning 40. We're old. We are. But how are we supposed to remember what happened in 1972? I don't know about you, but I was pretty young. Yeah, I don't remember a lot. Of, I, I've heard stories. Uh -oh. Um, first television sh show, some of these classics been on, uh, came out in 1972, Maud. Mm -hmm. Remember Maud? I, I think it had yeah. B. Arthur in it. She was Maud. 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 That's how they said it. Yeah. And B. Arthur was hot, by the way. Yeah. Okay. No, she was. Don't give me that face, you jerk. Mary Tyler Moore. Now, 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 Mary now Tyler, we're talking. Mary Tyler we're Dick Moore. Dick Van Dyke, Mary yes, Tyler Moore. Yes, I, yeah. Yeah. Had uh, a lot of private moments with her. Jeez, Rob, <laughs> pervert. World Series champion. Who was the World Series champion back in 1972, do you think? I wouldn't have known. Oh, oh uh, Oakland Ace. How do you know that? It's sports. You looked at this, didn't you? <laughs> when? When I, was, was it, when I was eating pizza, you were looking at this. Pro <laughs> football champions? If you get this, I know you're lying. Green? No, no, no. Cowboys. No, you suck. <laughs> All right, let's get you some. Who is the president? Nixon. Nixon. He just won re-election for the second term. Vice President Spiro T. Ag Spiro T. Agnew until he retired, resigned in 73 and Gerald Ford was appointed. All right. <laughs> what about our new house? How much do you think a new house would have cost? Average? Average new what home. What zip code? Uh, just uh, My Town, USA. S average 73000 No, $27,000 wow. Wow. for a home. Average income per person, 1972. Coming out of the 60s, fresh into the 70s, no bell bottoms yet. Average 16,500. Nope, 11,800. Okay. Pretty close. New car, $3,800. Wow. Average new car. Uh, mm -hmm. Average rent was $165 per month. Wow. Um, tuition to Harvard, 27,000. Uh, pretty close, 28,000 per year. Movie ticket was $1.75. Gasoline was 55 cents per gallon. I, we'll never get back to that. I remember uh, paying 79 cents a gallon at one point. Yeah. Fresh baked bread, and 25 cents per loaf. So, mm. uh, yeah, we're getting old. Yeah, you feel any older? What, no. Any side effects yet? My no. blur, my vision's starting to go. We're getting old, but one of us still looks good. Well, I know you do. Yeah. Look at you. You came the suit on. <laughs> I was going to wear some crappy T-shirt and everything, and here you are again. i got to step it up a little every time. You yeah, you make Kelsey feel bad. He was Superman over there. Yeah, well. But he saves the day. I'll Kelsey think. makes me feel inferior too many times, so it's time, right. good, good then, time for me to do it once. Then you got your big watch on there. What's, yeah. what's going on with that? 
Are you compensating for something? <laughs> You know what well, they what say. What are you compensating for, Jason? I don't know. I can't say. What have you seen? Is that you outside Where the window? Where was that? The cockfight thing <laughs> that we were talking about. Never mind. But, yeah, no, my vision, I can see you, you're getting some gray. I'm getting I'm gray. Getting some. I've, I've yeah. been fighting gray for 20 years. What are you talking about? What do you think about all these little punks running around, all these hipsters and everything? You think just people Those are, gosh darn kids. I don't, don't you start <laughs> feeling like that? Don't you start paying more attention to your lawn and yeah. stuff like that? We're getting old. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Did you watch the Olympics? Olympics run. They made me feel really old seeing all these people. Yeah, these like 16 year old kids out there winning gold medals. And yeah. Like, like if I had to swim from one end of the pool to the other end of the pool, it had been, I'd have been like a half hour. Mm -hmm. Well, when you got out of the pool, they would have tried sank. to push you back into the pool. They're yeah. afraid you would drown I, out of the I, water. So. I would have sunk right away. Now your house <laughs> caught on the fire. What, what happened with that? You, uh, wasn't me. Don't no. blame me. <laughs> no, lightning strike. Yeah. Light, lightning hit the base of a tree in the backyard and traveled into the sprinkler control wires into the garage and up it went up it went now you guys are living in a tent now while it's being rebuilt we're living in a van down, down by, by the by river the... <laughs> very nice um, <laughs> no, no but... that's kind of suck man <laughs> it, it, it does but you know what everybody's fine nobody was hurt we didn't lose anything that was irreplaceable uh, pretty much I lost a lot of my tools in the garage so I think it's a ruse because what you're doing is you're using that to reconstruct put a bat cave in you know and then that's just the facade so yeah, our house caught on fire, yeah. but you're actually putting it's, in a... We got to kill that one viewer now. Right, You got I know. the secret out. The one out there. We're coming yeah. for you. Well, what else you got? You got anything else? I don't have anything else. Mm -hmm. What's the time? We got about five minutes here? Yeah, I'm sorry I'm that boring. Yeah, no, what else do we have on here? What about those replacement refs? You know, I've always been a ref apologist because I think that's a really hard Is job. Is that really a thing? A well. ref apologist? <laughs> Did you go to school for that? <laughs> Get a degree? I, I, I just believe that's one of the hardest jobs to do. You're out on the field. You're watching 22 guys running at those kinds of speeds. You're trying to watch. We sit on our couch and they have the benefit of slow motion replay with seven different cameras. Well, they have angles, that now, too. And we still mess it up. And right. then they get it wrong on the field. Now, so now, didn't these guys, though, the big beef with this was that they crossed the picket line, so these guys were taking these jobs. Because they, the replacement refs, you know, I, I, I was initially thinking that, okay, replacement ref, they know what they're doing. No, these guys were like school teachers and well, they were they were refs from the, college games, you know, and not even the big colleges. They like Division Two and things like that. So they didn't they didn't know the NFL rules, and they were literally doing the best they could right. with no training. I mean, it's just they called them up and said, hey, we need you tomorrow. And what are they going to say? I mean, that, that's job it, of a lifetime. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of like when we had the lockout in 86 with the NFL and the, and the scabs from that. You know, they're calling arena football. What, are you going to say no? Right. Out of principle, I'm not going to go for after my dream. Yeah. No. So I think they did the best they could do. And maybe now it'll make people appreciate the real refs more. They what did get a standing that? ovation Thursday night for the Oh, Thursday yeah, they come out there waving their hats. <laughs> they're all big yeah. shots, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. So. I don't know. I'm glad the game's back. You're in that fantasy league too. How you doing? Who's no, your I quit. I'm quitting. I'm not. Peyton Manning is my quarterback. Peyton Manning and Ben Roethlisberger are my two quarterbacks. But I'm quitting. Peyton finally had a good day today, but yeah. I'm done. I'm 0 four now. Yeah. And yeah. This is the worst. Start I just I've sell ever my had. players off, and I try and you know fix my league to get you know uh, other people. I, I want to do the worst I can. But I don't even know how I could even do. Well, the I'll give you my I, team because that's pretty much yeah. about the worst I think anybody could do right now. So. Yeah. Well, I think we're boring them out there now, Rob. I think we were boring them about seven minutes ago. So. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming back no, on. thank you. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this program. And if you want to see more, you just go to jasonandfriends.com. We appreciate you stopping by and have a good time. We'll see you next time here on Jason and Friends. <laughs>